Family Theater presents Jeffrey Hunter and Barbara Rush. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents A Matter of Time, starring Jeffrey Hunter. Barbara Rush will be your hostess. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family Theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. And now to our transcribed drama, A Matter of Time, starring Jeffrey Hunter as Jim Reese. Kempo Airport, Tokyo. This is the second time I'd been here. The first time was back in 51. Kempo didn't look very good to me. But tonight, uh, tonight it's the prettiest place in the world. So long as I never see it again. And I'm going to make sure I don't. Uh, name, rank, sorry, Lumber. Uh, Corporal James L. Reese, yeah, 161. O O O four O. Right. <laughs> a lot of zeros there, Corporal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I used to tell my top kick, if I had four more of them in my number, I could go over the hill and you never even miss me. <laughs> I see you still got your sense of humor. How they treat you? Oh, the Reds? Yeah. Like they treat everybody. Stinking. Well, you're headed for home at last. Say hello to the States for me, will you? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> um... Any seat in particular here? Anyone but the pilots. <laughs> Thanks, Sarge. Good luck to you. Same to you. Papers and ticket, ma'am. Here you are. All right. This is Samuel A. Gunderson? That's right. Is uh, Colonel Gunderson traveling with you, ma'am? No. No, he's not. The reason I ask is this is a two-person permit. The colonel isn't going to use his part of it now. The Air Force will credit him with Colonel it. Gunderson won't be coming back. He was killed in action. Why? Well, Sorry, ma'am. Can I get aboard the plane now? Oh, yeah, of course. Any seat, ma'am. Take your choice. Thank you. Oh, Sergeant, what time do we arrive in Manila? About 7.30 tomorrow, ma'am. Thank you. Not at all. Your paper, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Is this an A-1 priority flight? My no, but it's the best you can do in the next 12 hours. Senator? Uh, Congressman. Then uh, we'll be in San Francisco by Thursday morning? Easy. Uh... Off the record, Sergeant, that uh, soldier ahead of the lady who just boarded the plane. He's been a prisoner of war, hasn't he? That's right. Yeah, I thought so. I know the look. I was a PW myself back in 43. Over here, sir? No, ETO, German. Just wondered. The boy looked pretty mad at the world. Well, weren't you, sir? Not that mad. Even if I was, I've learned a few things since then. Your papers are all in order, Mr. Stiles. Oh, thanks. Will you take off soon? About five minutes, sir. Your papers, ma'am? Here you go, soldier. Uh, Miss Jean Holly? Yeah, tricky, huh? That used to be Williams, but my agent says everybody's Williams. Hey, uh, I, I remember you, don't I? Uh, uh, Poussin, wasn't it? Why you, not Daryl Zanuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Poussin. With the accordion. Player. Oh, and the ventriloquist. I, as we say, murdered them in Pusan. <laughs> you sure got a great voice. Well, for that, you get my special underwater autograph. You going home for good now? Good as I can make it, soldier. You're okay, Miss Holly. Thanks. You ever play the Coconut Grove? I'll be ringside. <laughs> I'll be looking for you. Hey, uh, when does Scal get airborne? About two minutes. Better get comfortable. Oh, I'm going home. That makes me comfortable enough. Well... See you, soldier. Uh, 
I looked around at the rest of the people in the half-empty transport as we left the ground at Kempo. And then I shut them out of my mind. See, that was the deal I'd made with myself as soon as the Reds told us we were going home. Shut out everything and everybody that reminds you even a little of this nightmare until you step off the train at Syracuse. Well, that was the deal. The trouble is, people just won't let you keep that kind of a deal with yourself. Cigarettes, Sergeant? Uh, oh, no thanks, no. Well, ladies? No, thank you. Well, here, I'll, I'll take one if you don't mind. Well, by all means, yeah. Thanks. I guess you're pretty glad to be headed home, eh, Corporal? Yes, sir. Well, let me introduce myself, since no one else can. Uh, Lawrence Stiles, House of Representatives. How do you do? Hey, a congressman, huh? <laughs> Just a freshman. You're Miss... Yeah, uh, uh, Holly. <laughs> Jean Holly. Oh, well, glad to know you, Miss Holly. Glad to know don't you. believe I got your name, Corporal. It's Reese, Jim Reese. Well, that covers just about everyone but you, ma'am. Hmm? Well, my name is Gunderson. If, if you don't mind, I, I have a splitting headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, miss. I, I've got some aspirin right here in my briefcase. Oh, no. No, thank you. Well, if you need any, they're right here. Uh, you, uh, been over here long, Congressman? In just a few weeks. Inspection tour. Hmm. That's all I thought it would be with me when I first signed on to do a little singing. Oh? You an entertainer? Uh, that's what my agent keeps telling me. Like we've been touring the bases since last March. Uh, that's a great work you show folks are doing over here. Ah, uh, it's little enough. How about you, Corporal? I, uh, I understand you were a PW. That's right. You mind if I don't talk about it? Well, not at all. What? Well, I know how you feel, soldier. Things like that, you... Well, you just want to forget. I want to, anyhow. It's only natural. Don't be surprised, though, if you change your mind about that later, wanting to talk about it. Mm -mm. Not me, mister. That's the way I felt after the last war, 18 months in German stockade. You change, though. You get the picture in better perspective after a year or two. And what goods it do you then? Well, for one thing, it teaches you that nothing in this world comes without a struggle. I've already had my struggle, thanks. You get somebody else the next time. If my husband had felt that way... He'd still be alive. So would a lot of men. He was killed in Korea, Mrs. Gunderson? He was shot down three days before the truce was signed. Oh, gee, I'm awfully sorry. I'm sorry too, lady, but one war is enough for anybody. I say the next time they try anything funny, we push the button and send them all up in smoke. Well, one thing, it'd sure settle the argument in a hurry. I, uh, I don't know if it would or not. Hmm? Oh, now look, you, you politicians are all alike. What comes over a guy when he gets to be a public figure? Ten years ago, you were a soldier, huh? Captain. Tank Corps. Okay. Now, when you, you came up against a column of German tanks, you blew them up. You got them out of the way, didn't you? Well, we tried to. All right, sure. But, but what do we do now? Someone gets in our way, and instead of knocking it out, well, we sit around and scratch our heads like a lot of professors. Hey. Hey, you hear that? What? I heard it. One of the engines. Yeah, yeah it's... I, sounds like it's all right now. Mm -hmm. well, I'm sure the pilot would send someone back to tell us if there was anything really wrong. Don't you think so, Corporal? Yeah, I... Yeah, you'd think so. The conversation kind of died down after that. One by one, we dozed off. I don't know how long I slept, but it was still dark when I opened my eyes again. It took me a couple of seconds to realize that the congressman wasn't sitting where he should have been. And then I, I noticed the sound of the engines. Hey, uh, hey, what's going on? Well, they, they've been missing like that for the last ten minutes. Where's Stiles? Uh, he went up to, up to talk to the pilot. We've, I guess we've run into a storm. So... Oh, brother. Will you look at it outside? That's as black as a cat. What did he say, Mr. Stiles? Uh, we've been blown off our course. How about the engines? Well, the starboard engine's practically useless. The pilot says we've got a chance, though, if we can fly out of this storm. Well, aren't they in radio contact with the base? Intermittently, but the signal's pretty weak. Oh? 
You mean they may have to ditch this thing? It's a possibility. Oh, ditch? Uh, they think we'd better put on our life belts just in case. Yeah, but, but uh, how can we get out of here if we crash? Why, the board hole... Uh, won't... Take it easy, Miss Holly. The, the loading doors come off. You see these levers on the side? Yeah. Oh, well... Hey, uh, Corporal. Yes, sir? This looks like a life raft. Any idea how to blow it up? Oh, well, I think it... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this gets one. You push it in. Oh, same as the belt. Yeah, but I wouldn't inflate it in here, though. These things blow up pretty big. Oh. Well, big enough to hold all of us? Well, big enough to hold on to, anyway. Hey, look! Look outside. The pilot's turned on his lights. Can anyone see how close we are to the water? Yeah, I well, can't tell. The, the way the wind's blowing, I, I can't tell if it's spray or rain. We'd uh, better get ready. He's going to ditch the plane. What? How do you know what he's going to do? The pilot told me if he switched on his lights, that'd be the signal. The signal? Huh? White caps. Where? Yes, yeah, I right see them. There. I see them. Well, right on top of them. Yeah, we are. You better give me a hand with these loading doors, Corporal. Yeah, right now. Oh, yeah. This gun's up here. All right. Okay, hang on to that life raft until we hit because you'll never find it otherwise. Don't worry, we will. All right, now stay back from the door. We'll suck you right out. We'll stay back. Okay, in my sight, mister. All right, right. let it go. Keep back from the doorway, ladies. Yes, we're there. We're in awful low. Listen. There go the engines. Hang on. Hang on, we're going in. Get outside in the water as fast as you can when we hit. The pilot said the plane will tear to pieces in this wind. Hang yes, on. Right. Hang on. Here we go. I remembered to go limp just a second before we hit. The impact of the landing threw me against the wall of the fuselage, but a moment later, the sound of water rushing in through the loading doors brought me around fast. Please? Yeah? You all right? Uh, yeah. I can find my way out of here. Over this way. Okay. Uh, how about the women? Uh, they're out in the water with a raft. It's not as rough as I thought. Here, reach out your hand. Okay. Uh, got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. That's it. Come on. This thing's pitching pretty badly. How about the crew? They'll be going out the front. Can you make it now? Yeah. I'm all right. Hey, did you find it, Mr. Stiles? Right here. Ah, hey, look. It's starting to get light in the east. I, I don't see any sign of a pilot in the water. Any broken bones, Corporal? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Here, here, come on. We'll, we'll pull you in. No, it's okay. Come I can on. hang out all right. We better look for the crew. All right. Uh, suppose we pull this raft out around the wing first, and then... Uh, hey, huh? hey, look out! The plane started to sink. Where are those guys? Didn't they get out? The nose is going under. Push the raft away from the wing. Yeah. It's starting to turn all up. Uh, come on, keep paddling. Keep paddling. It goes down. We'll be pulled under with it. It's sliding under. It's it's gone. I can't. Can you see any sign of the crew, Mrs. Gunderson? No. They must have been trapped inside. Oh, hold on to yourself, honey. We we can't help them now. Hey, anyway, the storm feels like it's sliding up some. I think you're right. Have you got the slightest idea where we are? Uh-uh. Oh, but maybe... Uh... Oh, look, it, it's starting to get kind of light. Maybe in a few hours we'll be able to see something. Hey, Mr. Stiles! Hey, everybody, look! Uh-huh. Where? where? Oh, don't you see where I'm pointing? No. Well, isn't that over there? Look, something along the horizon. I can't see uh, a thing. You, you oh, mean look. a boat or something? What is it? No, 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 that, that, that long, long gray strip on the water. Oh, can't yeah. you see? I see it. Yeah. Yes. Where? It... They're over there. It looks like a fog bank. No, it... It, it's too long. Look, there. now look, it's, it's clearer. It looks like a reef. C- c- couldn't it be that? I don't... Um, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's more than a reef, oh. lady. That's land. That's land. what it is. It's, it's land. It was land. An island. A tiny, twisted strip of coral somewhere in the Pacific. But the sun was high and hot by the time our life raft had drifted close to the island's northern tip. 
Can you see any sign of life anywhere in here? Not a thing. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a big wind. A hurricane maybe hit this place. Mm. Do you suppose we'd be safe trying to beach the raft near those shoals? Well, the way the tide's carrying us, I think we'll land beyond them. Yeah, look. Look, there's a sand spit coming up past that cove. We ought to hit about there. Well, I'd hardly call this the garden spot of the Orient, but... Oh, oh brother, it sure looks good to me. You know, it. it's strange we haven't seen any search planes so far. Well, it hasn't yes. been four hours since we crashed. And besides, we were quite a ways off our course. Oh, I suppose so. Hey, you figure it could have been that storm we were in last night that messed this place up so bad? I suppose it's possible, but I didn't think it was blowing hard enough to do this much damage. Yeah. Not one tree that hasn't been ripped apart. Look out. Here comes that sand spit. Well, <coughs> we're shallow enough here. I suppose we get out and pull the rest away, Corporal. Good enough. Hey. Well, this is a nice day for a dip. Feels good after cooking in that sun all morning. Now you swim all you want, Corporal. I'm waiting to see what kind of groceries this little island's got to offer. Uh, I guess we could all use a good meal. And how. Okay, let's give her one more good yank, Mr. Stiles. That'll beat you dry. All right. All out, ladies. Yeah, all okay, right. we can look here for Okay, together. Oh, it's, it's so quiet. You can't even hear any birds. Hey. Hey, 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 do you, do you notice something about this place? I mean, about the trees and the shrubs along the edge of the beach here? Hmm? Just that they aren't very pretty. Yeah, but I just figured out why. What do you mean? They aren't green. Oh, go on. So they're a little faded. No, ones. no, no, but, but they're almost brown. Oh, maybe they used to be green, but they aren't anymore. Oh, well, you're right. Well, there's not a... Not a green leaf or a plant in sight. Well, don't you get autumn and winter down here in the islands like any place else? Uh-uh, not like this. Let's take a closer look at some of this shrubbery. Hey, look, look here. Hmm? This what? one, for instance. Oh, I, I, I never saw leaves that big turn brown. I must admit it's odd. This plant feels like... Well, what happened? What is well, it? Well, you just crumbled to dust right in my hand. Yeah, I saw it. Wait, you mean the leaf? And half the stalk, look. Such a nutter. Oh, my gosh. You know, what kind of a plant crumbles like that just from, from touching it? I don't know. It must have been dead. Well, it looks the same as all these other plants. You, you mean they're all dead? Well, that's easy enough to prove. Look at them. Every one you touch, they turn to dust. Yeah, but... Well, I haven't found one yet. That doesn't all of them. They, they crumble just like... like ashes. I never saw anything like this. Well, they can't simply be... Look. Hmm? Yeah, what is it? Look here. What is it? Where? Our footprints coming up from the beach. Yeah. Well, what about them? Well, look how the pebbles have been crushed right down to powder. Everywhere we've stepped on them. You're that's right. right. Yeah. Oh, look, that's, that's just white sand underneath the pebbles. Do you think so? Look. Those are pebbles, aren't they? Yeah, but I don't... Well, now I'll step on them. Oh. Ah. Now look what's left. When I lift up my foot, it looks like face powder. Hey, what have we gotten into here? What gives with this island? I don't know. It's like one big cinder. We spent the rest of the afternoon walking around the island. Everything, the trees, the plants, vines... All you had to do was touch them and they turned to dust. It was nearly twilight when we got back to where the raft was beached. Well, Congressman, what's our next move? I don't quite know, Miss Holly. Well, we still got some K rations in the raft. That ought to hold us for another day or so, anyhow. Yeah, and then what? There's nothing we can eat on this island. Well, regardless of that, we can't do anything until morning. I suggest we have some of those rations and try to get as much rest as we can until daylight. <laughs> you got my vote, Mr. Stiles. Uh, come on, you want to give me a hand with the food, Louise? Maybe All right, Jim. Mr. Stiles. Yes, Jim? What do you think it is? What do I think's happened here? Yeah. I'm not sure. You know what I think? What? I think this is where they push the button to test the new bomb. 
I got to admit, the thoughts crossed my mind. Well, I was in Japan. I saw Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Well, so did I, just a few weeks ago. It wasn't nothing like this. Nothing about it was like this. I know. Nothing I've ever seen is like this. I don't remember when I fell asleep that night. We were short on matches and K-rations. Don't need any cooking, so we just ate what we wanted cold, and then we dropped off. Maybe I'd been asleep, oh, half an hour or so. Maybe half the night, I don't know. All I remember for sure is that when I woke up, it was still dark. But I could hear the airplane clear as anything. Hey, hey, Styles. Huh? Huh? Styles, listen. Huh? Listen. It's an airplane. Probably one of the search planes. Girls! Yes, we hear it. Yeah, it's getting closer. Well, come on, we got a lot of fire. They'll never see us in this dark. Please, Jane, gather up all the weeds and brush it can find. Right. Hey, you got any matches, Jim? Yeah, yeah, I got them here. Oh, everything I try to pick up just falls to pieces. Yeah, no. Jim, yeah? try setting fire to the ration wrapper. This stuff won't burn. Okay. We can't even carry it. Yeah, all right. Well, hey, hurry, hurry. It's passing right over well, us. I'll go on as fast as I can. Jim, light it up. They'll be gone in another minute. But well, I'm trying to. Yeah, well, here, try it on the corner of this box. Okay. It, well, oh, it won't catch. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, it's soaking wet. Oh. Why don't you light it? Well, he's trying to. What's wrong? It's soaked. It's soaked. That's what's wrong. Oh, take it easy. Listen. What? The plane's going away. Uh, they didn't see us. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The paper just wouldn't light that. That's no, all right, Jim. It's all right. It wasn't your fault. What kind of an island is this, anyway? Everything on us just dead. Everything but us. And we'll be that way ourselves soon. If we don't get out of here. All right. It'll be daylight in a few hours. Let's pack up the rations and put them in the raft. We'll leave it sun up. We pulled away from the island later that morning and watched it grow smaller and smaller as the tide carried us south. For three days and two nights, we drifted. And then, late afternoon of the third day, we saw a plume of black smoke on the horizon. For about an hour, we watched it grow larger and then smaller, until every one of us thought we were saying things. But it was real, a real Dutch freighter. In fact, the only man on board who spoke any English at all was the ship's doctor. Oh? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> now that sap should make your back feel a little better. No? Oh, boy. That sure does. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. No, you, sir, your eyes, they still burn? A little bit. Yeah, let me make stronger the solution some more. Nah. Now just keep on soaking them. All right, Doc. Now, Corporal, go ahead. Hmm? You were telling me about that island you landed on. Oh, well, Doc, I tell you, I never saw such a place. Every Jim, time... uh... I wonder if the doctor would mind getting me another towel for my neck. The salt soaked through this. Oh, surely not at all. No, I have to fetch some. My linen cabinet is all out of the big one. Uh, sorry to put you to all this bother, doctor. No, not at all, not at all. I must see how the ladies are feeling besides, you know. I'll be back shortly. Uh, what's wrong, Mr. Stiles? Well, it's just a hunch, Jim, but... I don't think we should say anything about the way the island was. Okay, but I... Well, I, I don't see what's the difference. I mean, the whole world knows that we got the new bomb. I mean, well, it, it isn't that. It's the island itself. Well, what do you mean? I'm not sure it's one of ours. But... <sighs> well, it's gotta be. No, that's just it. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be at all. Things have happened pretty fast in this part of the world during the last few years. Yeah, but... But wouldn't we know about it if... If they'd used one of these islands for a test? You and I? Yeah. Not unless we were told. It's just a thought. I, I could be wrong. Oh, I... I sure hope you are. And so do I. But it... Doesn't really change things much in the long run. You figure they'll have the new bomb eventually? Don't you? Yeah, I guess so. You've seen what it can do now, Jim. Well, I, uh, I never thought anything could do that. 
Let me ask you something, then. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. You haven't even heard the question yet. I know what it is. The next time they try anything funny, would I still push the button? This is Barbara Rush again. An interesting question to ask of oneself is this simple little one. What was the best prayer I ever said in my whole life? The most sincere one, the one that came out the most naturally. The best prayer, like the best love, is the constant one. It burns brighter at times, but it always burns. It comes into the mind, well, like the recollection of the constancy of a beloved friend or husband or wife. It asks a petition simply as a child asks his father or mother for another little piece of bread or cake. It is the rise of gratitude within us for the sudden realization that we are fortunate in what life has given us. It's like our exclamation and appreciation of the sudden appearance of beauty as when the sun rises in purple to light a new day or sets in crimson and gold to mark the close of a finished day. The best prayers are like that. Natural movements of the soul of all of us. And family prayer that is natural and the familiar thing in a family is one of the best of the best prayers because it illuminates the very reason of a family. And by illuminating, it binds it together so that the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you A Matter of Time, starring Jeffrey Hunter. Barbara Rush was your hostess. Others in our cast were Gigi Pearson, Gene Bates, Ted DeCorsi, and Larry Dobkin. The script was written by John T. Kelly, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed and transcribed for Family Theater by Lou X. Lansworth. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program by the Mutual Network, which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to be with us next Sunday over most of these stations when family theater will present... The Thanksgiving Hour, a special hour-long program starring Ethel Barrymore, Pat O'Brien, Keith Brazell, Bing Crosby, Perry Como, Nan Merriman, Marina Koshetz, John Brownlee, and the Roger Wagner Chorale. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. Thank you.